and welcome back to the Dark Cosmic Universe. My name is Avian Savage. We're going to be doing a toy unboxing today. Mail call, mail call, mail call. And there was kind of a weird thing. <laughs> My stand decided to move on its own. Ooh, it must be Halloween coming around. Oh, and Seashell came over here to see what was going on. First of all, I want to say thank you guys for checking out my videos. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Dark Cosmic Universe here. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and getting notified with that bell icon when you give it the little ding -ling, ling and it is activated here on the Dark Cosmic Universe. Also, thank you guys for checking out the social links, the eBay page, the Facebook page, the Instagram page, the TikTok page, and all that good stuff. All right, let's get to what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be opening up this box here. Let's check it out. So just got, again, mail call the other day. So let's move the box out of here. This will be great for packing material. Oh, look who came. Our Cosmic Kitty. Hello, Seashell. She is checking up and seeing how things are going. Speaking of Seashell and picking out things, she was able to get the, thank you so much, my Cosmic Cat. Thank you for picking out our three winners of the, uh, I got to think remember what it was. It was the Sonic the Hedgehog uh, giveaway. Uh, one currently has responded, um, so I'm going to be mailing that out. We'll get that out on the next shuttle here in the Dark Cosmic Universe. So it'll be mailed to one of, the, uh, one of our uh, winners here. And again, hey, another great thing happened. We're at 200, and, I'm sorry, 300. And 51 subscribers. Oh my gosh. And if you check my video, yes, we're going to be giving away an Ahsoka Katano. Ahsoka Katano figure. Thank you. I had to think about that. Um, that'll be part of a giveaway. So definitely check out um, the page when it happens. Keep here and keep being notified because we've got a lot of great things happening. All right, let's open this up. I'm getting excited about this. This is a figure that I've wanted to get for quite a long time in my collection. And I did not have that. So, here it is. Alright. And check it out. It is the Annex Hero uh, 2021-79 Annex figure. Uh, again, uh, again, I found this on eBay. I had gotten a really good offer for the figure. So, I want to say thank you guys so much. So, here it is little uh, information. So if you're looking to know uh, who makes this, I'm just get better lighting over here. Uh, there we go. That's much better. All right. So here is some of the details. So it's Hero. And checking out the back here. And again, this is all in plastic. So we're going to open up the plastic here. And let's get this going. But I'm going to do it professionally like. Got the scissors over here. The unofficial <laughs> Dark Cosmic Scissors. I think that's what I got to look next for. I think I got to find something that would be really, really cool and, you know, just kind of very cosmic-y. All right, so we're going to open this up. And again, I've seen these figures. I've never... I'm not sure. Well, actually, I have one, um, but it was not packaged like this. And that's what we've got in the background over here. So let's put those up. So we got some of the uh, toy pizza figures in the back. And this one in particular is... Let's open up that case. So you, everyone gets to see. So open up. It's like a little cabin in over here of action figures. Check it out. That's what I do with my figures. So if you're curious about what I do and how I store my figures. So the ones that I really, really, really uh, want to show off. Or not show off, but just have so I can see it and I can see them. Um, I use these um, cases from um, Walmart. They're actually um, they're fishing lure um, boxes. So check this out. I'm going to open this up. And it comes, ooh, this is cool. It's got its own little case. Very cool. And again, um, this figure was approximately, um, they go for about, I think it was like $45 um, to $75. Yes, and you're like, whoa, for a figure, I did not pay $75 for this. Again, here's the cover art on this. Pretty cool. And there's a reason why I got this character. He's got the brain sticking out. You guys, I think you guys can figure out why I got this particular figure. Now check out, here's the back. It is, here we go. Um, it is a 118th fully action, a full action figure. So this is, um, like a four inch figure and we'll go, uh, we'll check it out with the, um, the ruler over here. Uh, here's what it says. Um, fully weathered, detailed, 
Highly completed action, uh, action collectibles, interchangeable weapons, and accessories. One action figure is included. Warning, this is not a toy, 16 plus. So you gotta be an older person to do this. Warning, warning, warning. So check the warning out. And again, Toy Alliance, and here's the website. And, oh my gosh, pretty cool. Getting excited about this. Now, one of the characters, now I did have before. Now this is kind of like, um, this is very similar. Now this character um, came from Toy Pizza, and I was able to uh, get it on the uh, the ground floor when this one came out. I think this is Doc, or sorry, Captain PZ. Um, all the accessories, um, these are Knights of the Slice uh, accessories for this particular figure. It was a combination um, figure that was uh, in conjunction with another uh, promotion with them. And I had gotten Captain PZ. I know I put this one down here. Um, again, if you've if not checked out Knights of the Slice, they're pretty cool. Um, very, very cool. And Captain PZ, I think it was Captain PZ. Again, if I got the name wrong, I do apologize. I've got so many characters. He's got his 10 gallon at here. He's got the cowboy look here. And again, these characters are very fully articulated. Um, when I grabbed this one, again, it was a, uh, it was a com it was a combined, um, effort, uh, between, uh, Toy Pizza and, uh, this character was pretty cool. I'm not very much, and I'll be honest, I'm not a cowboy person, but recently I've kind of like gotten to the whole cowboy thing. And that's why, like I said, some of my characters over here, you've got to see the bandanas. Um, they've got this, uh, you know, cowboy-esque look to them. And again, in the back, and this is a Knights of the Slice figure. And they specifically had the armor um, for these uh, characters for an add-on feature. I forgot the name of them, please. If you guys remember, again, there's so many characters. He's got a hat in the back, you can tell, um, which is really awesome. And then we've got here. This one is not articulated as much, but very close to that whole um, Captain PZ thing. And I think these were all part of one... Um, drop i might not be 100 percent sure but I, I did put them all together here and again like my cat my uh cowboy guys all right so here it is here's the figure now i did bring out um i have my black light because i'm hoping that this character has uh black light he's black light reactive and now to figure out how to open this thing i'm assuming it goes like this we'll find out and again thank you guys so much for watching the videos and uh, getting through uh my nonsense as I talk. Oh, here it is. So here is the figure. And of course, some of the stuff dropped out, some of the accessories. And what is this? Oh, that was from the other figure. So I gotta put that back over here. Um, so here are some of the blades. Pretty cool. Again, you know, it's got uh, this plastic casing and you've got the, the black styrofoam uh, to make sure that the figure does not get hurt or, you know, damaged. So this is a really cool case. I'm definitely going to have to keep that. And here's the figure himself, Hero. And let's get the scissors out here, and let's open it up. Again, this is one of the figures I definitely wanted, and I'll show you why. If you guys know who I am and things that I collect, when I saw this figure, I was like, are you kidding me? It almost appears to be like an homage to another character that I saw. So here he is. Here's Hero. Uh, again, very articulated. Um, I probably should have warmed them up a little bit. So I'm not going to be, you know, going through and uh, I'm not going to be, uh, you know, bending them and, you know, doing a, a review like that. We're just going to do just a general uh, review on the figure. And again, uh, this figure is approximately... All right, so almost like almost a little bit over four inches. So again, it's one eighteen scale, and again, this is just amazing. Ah, oh, it's got the brain in here, and that's what we're gonna bring up here. Why did I get this character? So if you guys remember, this is my custom uh, Strafe uh, Brainoid figure. Um, but if you remember Brainoid from um, Fish Price Adventure People, he had that brain in the middle, and the you know in the, in the casing. And when I saw this figure, I was like, oh my gosh. Very, very cool. Now, again, the, you know, the um, Fisher-Price figures are going to be a little bit smaller um, than a regular four-inch figure because these are like three and three quarters. But, again, I know where that was, it was that they were going with this, at least I think. I might be wrong, but I was so excited when, like I said, when I saw this, had it on my watch list, and whoever the seller was, um, they reduced the price, and I'm like, yes. 
So here's a Glyos um, like brainoid figure. Pretty cool, you can see the whole brain effect here. So again, it's like a brains day. And since we are in October, brains, brains, we are talking about brains. I'm gonna shut the light off just for a minute. I've got my handy dandy black light, super black light figure. Let's see if this thing does anything in the black light. And yes, I thought it would. So you can definitely see um, with the black light and the casing that goes around the helmet definitely gives a different uh, effect to it. And I'm going to shut the other light off real quick and I'll kind of show you again. You guys, if you do have action figures, check it out and see if they are black light reflective or black light reactive is what the word should be saying. So without the lights, yeah, okay, I can see it, you know. Gives it a, you know, gives them a different look, um, gives them a different feel. Let's go up this way. Let's pan up. And there are my characters. And there's the uh, Knights of the Slice figures. And they're reacting very good with the black light reactive um, flashlight here. So, yes, pretty cool. They are black light reactive, just a little bit. And again, that's kind of like if you have a display of figures and you want to give them a little extra. Uh, you know, a little extra zoom there and, you know, a little pop when people come to see your collection. Well, definitely, you know, do that. There we go. Bring the light back on. <clears throat> so, yes. And one more. There we go. We are back in business here. All right. So, this is the figure, again, that I got to show you. All right. Sorry about that. The stand is getting a little wiggly. I'm going to have to take care of that and adjust that. So, here's the figure, Hero, from Annex. Again, this is kind of like the acid rain figures. You can go with that, you know, that genre of types for figures. But check out the details on these figures. The shoes. Uh, again, the articulation that's in um, these shoes. So, you know, got some, uh, it's got some, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, it's got some really interesting uh, runners over here, you know, some really cool shoes. It's got some good rides going on. So, Hero is definitely doing his thing. Now, again, Hero comes with these really cool um, swords, uh, which I'm going to be putting in later. I'm um, looking to see if there's any, like, thing for the holsters. So I'm assuming here in the holsters, um, we can put the, maybe we can put the, uh, the swords in there. I'm thinking that's where they go. Um, I will definitely be checking that out later, and I'll be putting that together. So here it is. The Annex Hero figure, really cool. I've got it in person. Um, definitely a really cool figure to add to your collection if you are looking to have that outer space motif going on or if you need like a bad guy or, I don't know, it could be a good guy. Again, it's all about imagination. Again, it has lots of articulation and I'm not going to pull it too much uh, because of the joints and I've not heated the figure up. So sometimes with these characters, uh, you know, these figures that have all these, you know, extra joints in them, you, you put them the wrong way and uh, they just, you know, they pop and they break and it's just not a good thing. All right, guys. So this is the figure that I was able to get off of eBay. Pretty cool. I'm so excited. That's part of my collection. Um, definitely going to be one for the, uh, you know, to show off. It's one of the show off figures. And again, if you can find this um, on eBay or, you know, Macari or um, even like maybe Etsy, you might find some sellers there. So they run about like I said, uh, about like 50 to like $70, like 75 bucks for these figures. I know they're a little bit on the pricey side and I even just like, Ugh, can't do that. But it's again, it's a well-made figure. Um, and again, I'm get the captain, I think it's Captain Peasy. If I get the name wrong, I'm like, I'm so sorry. Uh, again, it's a whole articulation and these characters scale really well together. Uh, you know, again, it's that whole outer space. You know, if you want that whole outer space cowboy uh, effect going on here, um, and again, this is kind of, this is what you want. Absolutely go for it because these figures are definitely wicked cool. Um, I would definitely, again, I'm giving my, my thumbs up and here's a classic robotics figure astronaut. And you see how he falls a little bit short for being like three and three quarter inch. So you got a four inch figure over here, three and three quarter inch figure over here. Let's pop up the visor, check it out. So you get some classic, uh, astronauts to go with this. And again, even just like putting these characters together, you can definitely see where, um, you know, where you're going with your collection. If you want to like definitely spice up 
your action figure collection. Um, annex figures are pretty cool. Again, they are a little bit on the pricey side, but you know what? Um, if you are a collector and you really want to really showcase your figures, um, I definitely say yes to these figures. And also, it's, you know, like I said, it's an awesome part of your collection. All right, everyone, that's it for the uh, review today. So we reviewed the hero figure from Annex um, that I picked up. Again, it's over four inch figure, really cool. You can see how it scales with the other figures. Hope you guys had fun. What was your favorite figure? Do you guys know about the Knights of the Slice figures? Um, again, check those out. I know they, a lot of people sell them on, um, uh, you can find them on eBay. Uh, Knights of the Slice also, uh, better known as Toy Pizza, um, you, or toypizza.com. Uh, you can check out and see what they have uh, on their website for action figures. All right, everyone. Again, thank you guys for liking, subscribing, uh, sharing these videos with everyone. Thank you guys for watching the video to the end. Thank you so much. We got another toy, <laughs> another toy giveaway um, coming up. And again, beware, uh, be be very aware when it comes out. Again, check that. You know, make sure you've activated the activated the bell icon so you get notified when I upload videos. And again, it could be for the giveaways that I do here. So you just never know. Check out the shorts. Again, thank you, Seashell, for making an appearance. I so appreciate her coming here. We're going to end the video right here. And you know how we're going to do it. My name is Avian Savage. This is the Dark Cosmic Universe. We are reviewing and check it out. Adding to the collection, the Hero Annex figure, which I think is pretty awesome. If you want to go get one, definitely get one. To my cosmic family out there, to my cosmic comrades, to everyone who is watching these videos, you can be part of the Cosmic Family by subscribing and being a part of the channel, which would be awesome. And to everyone, stay cosmically insane, my friends, and keep collecting those action figures. We'll see you soon back here on the Atubosphere. Thanks again, and I will see you soon.